When purchasing demand can be planned in the long term, scheduling agreements can be very useful. The locking price and deliver dates over the life of the agreement. Let's create a scheduling agreement using transaction code ME31L and ME38. Open the ME31L and press enter. Begin by entering the supplier number 101000. In the agreement type, the default is LP as for a standard scheduling agreement. In this case, leave as is. The agreement date is auto-populated with today's date, representing the creation date of the agreement. In the organizational data, enter US00 in the purchasing organization and N00 in purchasing group if they are not automatically populated. Proceed by pressing overview. An error message will appear indicating the need to define the validity end date for the agreement into one year from today. And press enter. The atom overview screen will appear into the material number EPAD1000 and specify the target quantity 50,000. Set the net price $30. Plant MI00 and press enter. Save the scheduling agreement by clicking the save button. A success message will confirm the creation of the scheduling agreement, along with a signed document number. You're not done. You still need to define the delivery schedule. To do this, you will tap slash N to end this current transaction for a new transaction and enter the transaction code ME38 and press enter. The agreement you just created has been auto-populated, so click Overview. You can see that your target quantity and open quantity are set at 50,000 as no deliveries have been scheduled yet. Let's schedule our delivery. You will click the line item and choose Delivery Schedule. You will enter your first delivery. You will set it for one month from today. For scheduled quantity of 10,000, For the second delivery, you will set it for two months from today. Again, for 10,000. And press enter. Looking at the accumulative schedule quantity column, you can see that after second delivery, there will have been 20,000 units of the agreement delivered. You now click the overview button. Looking at the target quantity field, you see 50,000, but now that your scheduled two deliveries 
The open target quantity is 30,000. You're now ready to save. Click Save. And you get a success message that scheduling agreement has changed. By creating a scheduling agreement and defining a delivery schedule, you ensure long-term price stability and have agreed upon delivery date to fulfill the predictable demand of your customer.